All praises due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Um, so the nation of Israel, the true nation of Israel in the scriptures, are you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, the brothers in Central America, South America, Cuba, Puerto Rico, um, uh, Jamaica, Haiti, you know, then you have a remnant of our people that scattered, uh, within Europe, um, um, Asia Minor, you know, of course we're from Asia Minor or Asia, you know, we're from that area, but, um, the other Asia as well, dealing with the Chinese, the Japanese, so-called, uh, Moab and Ammon, all right, so, <clears throat> this is a quick sit down on, um, World War Three. This is a World War Three update. It was up, uh, uploaded ten hours ago. So we know that in the scriptures, that um, America is not in the Bible. Okay, the word America is not in the Bible. The word Iran is not in the Bible or Russia. Okay. So back in ancient times, you had the land of the Medes, the uh, the Persians, or Persia. Um, um, what's the other name? Uh, Gomer or Gomer, um, you know, um, Slaki, I forgot the other names, but it's in the book of Ezekiel dealing with, uh, this World War Three. Um, you got, um, some African nations that's going to gear up for this war that's going to lead to the Armageddon, all right? And basically, um, this is going to be about um, America and, and Iran. But in the scriptures, like how it says in the book of, I believe it's Isaiah, the 13th chapter or the 14th chapter, that the Medes, which is uh, the Russians, not, uh, yeah, no, yeah, the Medes, which is the Russians, are going to hate Great Babylon or Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon, that name refers to America because in those times when they seen when the prophets had seen this war happening they didn't know the names of this country they only seen that uh, this country up, up, upheld the same ways as mystery Babylon or Egypt so this sit down is going to be about that or this video because I'm not really gonna go into scripture that's why I'm talking now you know but basically you know, um, you know, this war is, is getting hotter and, um, I'm going to play this, this sit down, you know, but basically America wants to put, well, the international bankers, but they're using America. They want to put a central bank inside Iran and run the economy. All right. The international bankers wants to use America as their uh, pet peeve, all right? And they're gonna send you American soldiers off to war. It's gonna be a lot of, of people, civilians, that's gonna be a draft. It's gonna be another draft, all right? That's why they have you sign, um, when you turn 18 years old, they have you sign, um, what's that shit called? Um, they have you, uh, basically, uh, you, you sign, I forgot what it's called, it's at the tip of my tongue, but I was telling my brother about this yesterday, my blood brother about this, but um, that's, when you turn 18 year old, they have you sign uh, this this military paper, uh, what's it called, voluntary, or it's something like that, I forgot what it's called, but basically when you turn 18, after you graduate, or before you graduate, you sign this paper, so that if a war happens, you'll be drafted, alright, and the draft ranges from 18 to 40, alright, so, uh, I'm going to play this video. Ahead of Memorial Day, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump visited soldiers' graves at Arlington National Cemetery on Thursday. Hours later, he was briefed by Pentagon officials on a plan to deploy more troops as one of the options to address rising tensions in the Middle East. I would certainly send troops if we need them. Iran has been a very dangerous player, a very bad player. They are a nation of terror, and we won't put up with it. He said, Iran is a nation of terror. How is that when America supports ISIS? America made the Taliban, 
all right? It's the Taliban, the CIA backed, all right? They wanted to, to uh, destabilize the Middle East, of course, which we all should know. But a lot of these dumbass Americans, they don't know that because they're under gross darkness, all right? Trump said he doesn't think he needs to send troops at this point. U.S. warships and carrier strike groups have already been deployed to the Persian Gulf. Earlier this week, administration officials said the move has been successful in putting Iranian threats on hold. They stress that the U.S. is not seeking to provoke Iran. But they are. Focus at this point is they, the international bankers want to start this war. This is their last rulership. To escalate. This is about deterrence, not about war. Tehran also says it doesn't want war. Still, analysts say the risk of confrontation is high. Each side is trying to uh, create a deterrence posture. So increasing force presence uh, with U.S. capabilities in the region to send a message to the Iranians. If you attack us, we will retaliate. The Iranians are doing the same thing. After Let the weak... Let the weak say I am strong. The weak is these other nations, like the Chinese, um, the Iranians, even Russia. Uh, Russia has never been weak, but their, their military capabilities were not like uh, Babylon, Great Babylon, all right, um, which is America, all right. But now um, uh, Russia has upgraded. The Lord has made the Medes strong. They have better weapons. And, and ultimately, those um, thermonuclear missiles, all right, or intercontinental uh, ballistic missiles, all right, are more stronger and powerful. Every nation on the earth, even America's allies, are going to turn against, uh, are going to, are going to turn against her in the last day. And they're going to shoot their missiles upon this country and this country is going to be obliterated all right it's not going to be left anymore the children will be dashed into pieces the old the young if you're not a hebrew israelite and you're not under the protection of yahweh bashem yahweh shah yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father in the hebrew all right they don't speak greek they're not greek god is greek jesus or jesus is greek his name the name of the real Jesus is Yahweh Shai, all right, which means he's the savior, all right? And the heavenly father name is Yahweh, all right? And only the Hebrew Israelites can say those names, all right? So that's it. If you're not under protection, all right, you're going to be swallowed up in the last day here in this country. All right, you're going to take the microchip, you're going to starve to death, or you're going to be eaten, uh by animals, you know, or people. It's real like that. In 2018, Trump has pursued a maximum pressure campaign through heavy sanctions to stop Iran from producing nuclear weapons and contain its expansionism across the Middle East. We have articulated 13 complex demands which affect every aspect of Iran's relations with all of its neighbors as well as with Iran is unlikely to meet these demands. President Hassan Rouhani has rejected talks, declaring that Iran will never bow. See, the whole thing about Iran uh, having nuclear capabilities, the reason why they don't want them to have that is because they want it, they want to go right on in and invade Iran. All right? And it's a game called Battlefield where it shows that that is happening. All right? So that's what they want to do, all right? And they're going to say something about that with one of these Edomites. Uh, I forgot his name, John Bolton. The Edomite John Bolton, all right, said something about a uh, military intervention or regime change in Iran. What will happen next is unclear. Trump talks top on Iran, but campaigned against never-ending wars. Meanwhile, National Security Advisor John Bolton has pushed for military action, even regime change. See? See, just like in Iraq, and they're trying to do that in Venezuela, all right? They intervene in in, uh, in Central America, all right? That's what they want to do. They want a regime change to control the economy. The ambiguity about what this is... But Russia, the Medes, they're going to step in, and they're not going to let Babylon do that. 
wants does create problems for actually um, gaining success and getting to some outcome you'd like to see. Some analysts see the lack of clarity on Iran as emblematic of Trump's overall foreign policy approach, where the administration would push hard toward a desirable outcome but lacks credibility in its messaging. The way you go about it could be anything from a clearly stated strategy to almost a tweet. But you never know from day to day which is the guiding character. If the parliament is approved, it's a shift for Trump, who has repeatedly emphasized the need to reduce U.S. troop presence in the region. Patsy Vida Fuswara, News.